Welcome everyone, I'll let you show you how to screen record on any iPod Touch model. So all you need to do is head over to settings, and once you're in settings, you just want to tap on control center, and once you're here, you want to scroll down until you see screen recording, you just want to tap on a plus, and now screen recording is enabled. The next step is you want to head over to general and about, and you need to make sure that under available storage, you have more than five gig of storage available. If you have less than five gig, you will need to free up storage. Otherwise, there is a high risk that when you screen record, the screen recorder will crash. Therefore, you will lose the recording. Now, to start a screen recording, you just need to swipe up from the bottom to activate control center. If that doesn't work, swipe down from the bottom right instead. And once you're here, you're going to see this brand new toggle, and this is the screen recorder. If we long press on this one, we have some customization, so we can have the microphone on. Microphone is, you know, you speaking, that will be captured. Microphone off means that only the internal uh, system sounds like the game audio, keyboard typing, etc. will be captured. Just make sure that your sound is turned on and the mute switch is turned off in order for that to be captured. So to start the screen recording, we're just going to tap on start recording. There will be a time down. That can be used to go to the home screen and stuff like that. And now the recorder has started. So every action you do on your home screen will be recorded. Same with the applications as well. So opening up apps, all that good stuff, it will all be recorded. And to stop the screen recording, you just want to tap on the red bar. Sometimes the red bar will go away. If it goes away, swipe up to the control center and then tap on this red icon right here. And once you tap this, you should see a notification here. Screen recording video, save the photos. That means the screen record is done. Now, once you go to the Photos app, you're going to see that screen recorder. Uh, depending on how long the recording is, it may take up to five minutes for the recording to show up. So just keep that in mind. Also, if the uh, recorder hasn't showed up, you cannot lock the device uh, until the screen recording is available inside of the Photos app. Otherwise, the recording will be corrupted and you will lose it. So you can see here, if I just press the play, that all the actions on the home screen and the Photos app were recorded. Finally, if you want to edit the screen recording, just tap on it. And then you're going to see here edit, just tap on the edit and you have a bunch of options you can play around here with as well. So that's everything you need to know about the screen recorder. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.